Hi, I'm Brad Kamarmi, and I'm standing behind a nitrogen test stand, um, complete with an immersion chamber for leak testing. We're going to go over some of the physical design features of the unit, and then we'll move into some of the functionalities using the um, automated touchscreen. Both the control cabinet and the test chamber have been fitted with removable panels. Um, the panels come right off. And underneath here, you can see we have some valves and gauges for maintenance purposes, as well as forklift pockets for ease of transportation and installation. The chamber is equipped with an LED light um, to easily view your test sample, and the chamber has an automated fill which is controlled by the touch screen. The test chamber itself has some innovative design features. Um, we have a nice large viewing window to see into the chamber, and the door is equipped with gas assist struts to assist with both opening and closing the chamber. One of the really nice features of the test chamber on this unit is um, the tool tray we've integrated into the immersion tank. Um, when the tank is full of water for leak detection, this allows you a place to put your tools when either you're hooking up or disconnecting your test piece. In the event that you have a very large test piece, um, you simply loosen this nut on the side, it slides in on itself, and then folds out of the way. So as you can see here, using the light and the immersion tank, it's easy to detect for leaks. Here we have one of our gas receivers, and I purposely loosened the fittings on the end to simulate a leak. The control cabinet is built around a uh, Maximator DLE 30-2 gas booster. Um, it's entirely automated controls. Everything you see that would be under the panel is simply for maintenance purposes. The operator shouldn't have to touch any of these dials or gauges on a regular basis. What I'd like to do now is walk you through a sample test. When you first turn on the machine, it'll start up on the home page. There are four icons here on the left. The settings, manual, recipe, and the home screen. The settings in the manual screen are really used for maintenance purposes. Um, what you'll need to do is click on the recipe page, and it'll look like this. What you have is um, the ability to load up to five pressure points and a dwell for each one. You click on the name. Click enter, enter your first set point, second set point, and this test we're only going to do three points. Um, then on the left you'll enter the amount of time it should stay at each pressure set point. Once you're happy with the recipe, just click save. It'll add it to the list down below and you can store up to 50 recipes on the system and click the home button. You'll see that the test recipe is already on there because we've selected it on the previous screen. You can enter a serial number and an operator there as well. Um, once you're satisfied with the information, simply press start and it'll begin the test profile. Along the bottom of the screen there's a status bar and it'll tell you which pressure point you're at, what the setting is, the dwell that's remaining, or in this case we've just finished, the door is closed, and we are not data logging because we don't have the USB stick in there. When it ends the dwell, you hit acknowledge to go to the next pressure set point. And now we'll go to our final uh, pressurization set point. So we just completed the first test profile. You'll notice there's two other buttons on the front of the control panel. One gives you access to a USB port to digitally record your data during the test. And the other is simply an e-stop. When you hit the e-stop, 
It's going to shut off your inlet gas supply so you don't vent your supply cylinder and vent any system pressure. So as you can see, the system has um, got a lot of innovative design features uh, specifically for one customer, but could be applied to anything where you're doing any type of leak testing where you require accurate pressure and the ability to digitally record the data. Um, if you have any additional questions, give us a call. We'd love to talk about your application.